Today's breakthrough in education is the ability to see not only what a student achieves, but how much and how fast they grow. To explain the significance of this, a metaphor is useful. We grown-ups all drive cars. We all drive on highways. And we know that our highways have mile markers along the way. And it doesn't matter if you're driving a Corolla or a Cadillac. Every speedometer is the same. One might use miles per hour, one might use kilometers, but the measure of speed is similar, and the basic idea of rate, time, and distance to get somewhere is the same. How does this apply to education? And how can we improve on our attempts to get students ready for college and career? Let's imagine two school buses, each with a teacher and a busload of students, each leaving from one of two different starting points, but heading to the same place. One leaves from Florida, one leaves from Washington, D.C. The destination is New York City, which we'll say represents college and career readiness. For now, time is not a variable, so we're giving these two teachers and their busload of students seven hours to get to New York, regardless of their starting point. So what percentage of students leaving from Washington, D.C. will get to New York in seven hours? Everyone. Seven hours is enough time to get from Washington, D.C. to New York. So that class has 100% of kids proficient. What percent of students leaving from Florida will get to New York City in seven hours? Zero. Why? Because nobody has ever been able to go from Florida to New York in seven hours in a bus. Now we have to figure out what the problem is. And shouldn't we really blame someone? Isn't it the teacher who is driving the bus? It's their responsibility. How can they let zero percent of their class reach proficiency? But wait, let's look more closely at this scenario. In fact, we find out that the speed of those two buses was not the same. The bus leaving Florida, knowing that they had to cover more distance, was able to go 65 miles an hour most of the way, while the bus leaving Washington, D.C. was only doing 45 miles per hour. In our current education accountability system, the bus leaving Florida, even though it was going faster, would be seen as poor and the teacher as ineffective because nobody reached proficiency. They didn't reach the destination. Ironically, we see that the bus leaving Florida, by going at a faster speed, was actually more effective at moving kids ahead, whereas the bus leaving D.C. was going slower and had an easier ride. All we've really been able to answer previously, by the way of proficiency levels, was what mile marker am I at, and have I reached my destination in a prescribed amount of time? If we only look at mile markers, we don't see the effectiveness of the teacher and the bus to accelerate growth. Schoolview and its growth model gives us the common speedometer perspective. And unfortunately, the reality check does not always bring good news. In this case, that a great teacher making great time and speed still couldn't get kids who need to catch up to their destination on time. But at least now, thanks to the growth model, we see the problem clearly. Solving the problem certainly goes beyond those two teachers' effectiveness, and it goes beyond just fine-tuning the bus to make it go a little faster. Maybe we need a different vehicle to deliver education. And maybe we need a different approach to the time requirement. Maybe not all buses need to get to the destination in the same amount of time. Maybe some can leave sooner or arrive a little later. What is important is that they do arrive at the destination. So the goal is to change from a system where those who start behind stay behind to a system where those who start behind catch up. Hello.